Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days and we are on day 22. Today we shall be reading Psalm 22, 52, 82, 112, 142, and Proverbs 22. So, let's go ahead and get started with Psalm 22 verse 1. To the chief musician upon Ajaleth Sahar, a psalm of David. My Elohim, my Elohim, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me, and from the words of my roaring? O my Elohim, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest of uh, the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and they were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am warned, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh to scorn. They shoot out a lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted on Yahweh that he would deliver him, let him deliver him, seeing he delight, delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my Elohim from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a pot shard, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. You know, a lot of people say that Psalm 22 is talking about Jesus Christ and uh, rereading it again just makes me think that yeah it is telling about Christ you know the whole parting the garments and casting lot, uh, lots for it and um, dogs surrounding him you know so it really does seem like it, this is Christ Psalm twenty-two, nineteen: Be, but be not thou far from me, O Yahweh, O my strength. Haste thee to help me, to deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation. Will I praise thee, ye that fear Yahweh? Praise him, all ye that's the seed of Jacob. Glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise Yahweh that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto Yahweh, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. The kingdom is Yahweh's, and he is the governor among the nations. All that, all they that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. The seed shall serve him, it shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness 
unto a people that shall be born, that he hath done this. Psalm 52, verse 1. To the chief musician Mashil, a psalm of David. When Doeg the Edomite came and told Saul, and said unto him, David is come to the house of Ahimelech. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of Elohim endureth continually. Thy tongue defieseth mischiefs, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness, Selah. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. Elohim shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away, and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living, Selah. The righteous also shall see and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not Elohim his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of Elohim. I trust in the mercy of Elohim for ever and ever. I will praise thee for ever, because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. That is a great couple of verses there. I trust in the mercy of God, or Elohim, forever and ever. Yep, trust in the mercy. Love that verse. Psalm 82, verse 1. A psalm of Asaph. Elohim standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods, little g. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O Elohim, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Psalm 112, verse 1. Praise ye, Yahweh. Blessed is the man that feareth Yahweh, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness, he is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. A good man showeth favor and lendeth, he will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings, his heart is fixed, trusting in Yahweh. That's another good one too. Don't be afraid of evil things, evil things to come. We need to have our hearts fixed, trusting in the Lord, or Yahweh. Love that verse. Psalm 112, 8. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor his righteousness, endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved, he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 142, verse 1. Meshil of David, a prayer when he was in the cave. I cried unto Yahweh with my voice. With my voice unto Yahweh did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. The way wherein I walked have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no man cared for my soul. 
I cried unto thee, O Yahweh. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. And Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. Yahweh is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of Yahweh are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doeth, he that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed. For he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out, yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips the king shall be his friend. The eyes of Yahweh preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of Yahweh shall fear, fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is pleasant, if thou keep them within thee, they shall withal be fitted in thy lips, that thy trust may be in Yahweh. I have made known to thee this day, even to thee have I not, have not I written to thee excellent things and counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee. Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For Yahweh will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man shalt, thou shalt not go. Lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall see stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. <sighs> All right. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, for watching and listening. I hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him and trust in Him. Wait upon Him and you'll never be sorry. And I just want to close by reading this psalm again, Psalm 52.8. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever, because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. That's another thing we need to, to do that often gets overlooked, is praising God, praising Yahweh. Not only should we trust in Him, wait upon Him, have faith in Him, and uh, live for Him, tell others about him but we need to also praise and thank 
thank and praise every day. That's going to be it, guys. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. God willingly, we will be reading more Psalms and Proverbs. So thanks again and take care.